Check a better look, it's team mail. <laughs> so, I have, this is the craft, part one of the craft influencer package that I got. Part one. I divided it into two parts so the video wouldn't be too long because, yeah, anyway. So let's just jump right in because I want to try something towards the end of this video. And I want you to help me. Okay, so first off, I ordered a new set of needles. These are the ones with the open eyelet, so it's easier to thread them. I am not a sewer, and now that I've hit the mid, well, who am I kidding? Hit the late 40s. Um, my eyes have definitely changed. So I needed something to make it easier when I do have to sew something that I needed a little bit of help with the needles. So I ordered those. Um, <clears throat> let me find a piece of paper here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I got these really cool gel pens, and I'm excited to see how they write. Looks like we got a storm moving in. They they all three look the same. They just have different color lids, caps, whatever you want to call it. So let's see what they look like when you write with them. So it started yellow and then kind of went orange, but you can kind of see, is that shimmer or is that just wet ink? No, oh, it does. It does. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Oh, the glare is so bad. Trust me, there is a little bit of a shimmer in there. So I guess you just have to keep writing with it, and as you write with it, it'll change colors. So the yellow and the orange are at the top of this one, so it's all coming out the same. Let's see what the others look like. This one looks like it has more green at the top. We'll just try all three of them. How's that sound? Okay. This one has got more of a definition between the yellow and orange. It started out, I thought it was going to be purpley, then it went orange and yellow. Let's see what the other one looks like. Whoop, the other one looks like. Get on there. Yay. Ooh. So this one does have green. The green cap has green at the top, but it still went yellow. <laughs> but those are kind of fun. Something, something different. Let's see. Next, I have my markers that I mentioned to you before. So let me find my Nutcracker guys. And we'll see how these markers do. So it is 36 colors, dual tip brush markers. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are very similar to um, a brand I used to have called Tombow. Oh. Oh, they're in tra they're in trays. How cool is that? 
That's very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so here's the marker. So this end is the very fine point. It's like a felt tip marker. And then this side is your brush tip. So I'm going to use this end and let's just see if they are any good. Yeah, maybe I will use the brush tip because it has a small enough point. Of course, my coloring is a little rusty. My hands, my, I have like trimmer in my hands. Now, I don't know why, so I won't color too much because I go a lot slower now. And you will be really bored just watching the top of my head. Let's see, Let me use this one. And then I will use this one. All right, so there is my not so great coloring. But I used the three, there are three shades of purple right here. So I used the middle one to color the, the most with. I used the lighter one to color underneath of the bow. And then I used the darker one to um, outline on the bow. So you can see there. So there's the main purple, which was the middle color, the lighter color inside, and then the darker color as the little outline. So these are pretty nice. I like that they have the different shades, which turns out really helps out a lot when you're coloring. You can add more dimension as you go with the different shades. All right, so these, I love these. I'm happy. I really, really like the tray. And it also makes me happy that they're all facing. <laughs> so we have this tray has these colors in it. And I want to say these were like 10 or $12. They were really affordable. And there's that considering you would pay 40 or $50 for these in a craft store. If you got the name brand, ooh, there's silver. It looks metallic. Is it metallic? No, just gray. It's kind of a bummer. I thought this was going to be metallic, but it's not. That's okay. All right, so there's that. Awesome markers. And I love that it's in a nice, sturdy case. I really like the fact that it's there. They have trays. That, that makes my OCD happy. Because I can keep them better organized this way. I'm one of those people that tries to keep the colors the way they come. And I know it's so ridiculous, but I can't help it. It's just how I am. Okay, let's put this up there. Put that there. I can finish coloring my nutcrackers now. Come on. Somewhere where it won't fall over. Okay. 
Next thing I have to show you, this is a new craft to me, and I am excited to try this. I've been wanting to try this for quite a while, but I was always afraid to invest because, first of all, I didn't really know what I needed. Second of all, I didn't know how hard it was going to be. And third, I just was scared, so I didn't do it. But Robin convinced me to try them. She ordered a set, too, and I haven't heard from her yet to see if she's tried them yet. She may not have gotten her order yet. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Needle felting. So this one is for a little bumblebee. And I got this one that is a little tiny mouse. I figured I would do him second because he looks way more complicated. When I got him, I was like, what were you thinking? That looks really, really hard. But there's what it comes with. And then I also got a needle felting tool with multiple needles, if I can figure out how to open it. There it is. Elsa, go lay down. Okay, so there are two, four, there are six needles in this, and it has a little retractable thing, and it's in a nice little comfortable ergonomic, ergonomic, ergonomic handle. Okay, so let's redistribute the view. And you're going to try it with me. We're going to see if I can get anything close to a B. So you get the, um, this is what you use your needles on so it doesn't go through your area. And this looks like it comes with three different ones. They look the same. So, it, ow! <laughs> that didn't feel good. So this is what the, the plain needles look like. They just have a little like steel handle and then you just do like that. Well, that's nice. Transformer just blew. Yep, if you heard that noise, that was a transformer blowing. It scared me. First, I thought somebody was hammering. I was like, oh, great. Got somebody making something. But no, nope, that would be a transformer. That's nice. Hey, at least it came back on. All right. Back to why you guys are staring at my nasty table. Let's see what this paper is. It's just visual instructions. Yes, it's... Just visual instructions. Please make according to the size of this drawing in the process of making. Okay. So that's 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 how big. So like the size of smaller than my finger. That's how big he's going supposed to be. So I'm just going to guess that I'm just going to use all of the yellow. I can get it apart. I have this song from the new Annie movie in my head. This moment. I don't remember what it's called, but her new opportunity. How do I do this? Do I just like roll it into a little ball? Okay, so here we go. Let's start with one of these. And what I've seen, now I have not watched any videos 
you just, what I've seen people doing online, now watch me stab myself. You just poke. Let's see how this one does. But I don't know how you shape, how you're supposed to shape it. I don't know. Maybe I should watch some videos. It feels like cotton candy. That's what the, the wool feels like. It actually secures pretty quick because I'm, I'm already See, you can't, doesn't really come apart. So that part goes fast, but I'm just confused on how. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Why is it so scary? Well, I already got a nice little separation, but it's just, I don't know how to make the round, make the head round. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have done this craft and what you think of it. And I'll have to um, go watch some videos and maybe I can find a video for this particular bee. It definitely goes pretty quick. I've seen some amazing needle felting. There's a lady I follow on Etsy. I just admire her work. I can't afford any of her pieces, but she makes some really cool stuff. See, now the back of this is flat. So if I do the side... <laughs> Are you tired of watching me? I'm kind of tired of failing. So I guess that's just what you do. You just keep turning and poking. Let's see if I can get the head a little bit rounded here. Kind of working. It looks like a croissant or something. A misshapen croissant. All right, I won't make you watch me anymore. So I'm just gonna put these back in here so nobody gets blood drawn. Because let me tell you, they're sharp. Super, super sharp. It's definitely not something you want a small child to be working on with you unless they have good hand-eye coordination. Otherwise, they'll end up being a pincushion. All right, so that's what I got from Team Moo today. I know it was a very quick video, and I hope you will give me some feedback. Let me know if you've ever done this before. I'm very curious 
as to um, what I need to do differently if I even started it wrong or what I did wrong. Because I know I did a lot of things wrong. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's that. Um, it comes with... Are this supposed to be antenna? No, that looks like felt. I don't know. It comes with like a little kit to make it a, a hangy thing. You can hang it off your bag. So there we have it. All right. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, and look, we need Delaware, Alaska, and Hawaii. Everybody else has called in. Even Rhode Island, which I was like super stoked about. I was like, yeah, nobody's going to be in Rhode Island. But somebody was in Rhode Island. Um, so that's all we're missing is Delaware, Hawaii, and Alaska. So thank you so much for all the comments and helping me fill up my map. It was really exciting. And Emily was very upset with me that she did not get to finish doing the map. So I think I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and find one for her and make her do it just for practice. <laughs> We can all use some help with geography, I would think. At least I know we do because we're not very good at it. But this was definitely, it was fun because you had to like match the shape of the state. There was nothing written on there, so it was pretty cool. So that is that, and I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for being here. If you have not already... Please click the subscribe button because videos are not always like this. Most of the time I am doing diamond painting stuff, which is probably why you're mostly here. But every once in a while I throw in a rogue random craft that we can look at together and see if we like it or hate it. But yeah. Alright, I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!